back in the day, when I lived in the town that I've lived in longer than any city in America, America, Fresno, California, there was a gentleman that was in my church, um, a big church there, not the biggest, but a big church, who killed his wife. And at the time, I happened to have a beef with something with my wife, and we were in the same pod together down in Fresno County. Okay, I'm giving some of my life away. That was not a good time in my life, but I was in there for a while, and it changed me. But anyway, that's another story for another day. So anyway, after a couple of weeks, he told me, and I didn't know the dude was a murderer. The dude was a stone-cold murderer. Killed his own wife. He said that his fantasy, he had a fantasy that he was on uh, Prozac, and while he had this fantasy, he thought that James, he was James Bond, and there was a spy there that was going to kill him, and he had to fight to the death because this other dude was going to kill him, and he killed his wife. That's what he said. That was his story. Just like Sirhan Sirhan, the dude who shot uh, Robert Kennedy, his story was that he can't remember it. He can't remember anything he does. Now, this nitwit, this uh, miscreant, this human waste that killed these 50 people and, and, and may have destroyed 50 other people's lives, uh, he doesn't, we don't know his story because, you know, he's dead. He's dead. Now, but what I'm getting to is this is a product of insanity. Now, whether, but whatever his cultural upbringings are, that would have something to do with who he killed. He, he killed because he comes from a homophobic type of community. So people who come from homophobic communities, it's common knowledge that they, or a lot of them, are gay. So he's struggling with his gayness, and he hates gays, and he's from a gay community, and he's a nobody, and he wants to be important, so he calls up the police and says that he's from ISIS, and he's a big hero. Because his life was meaningless, you know. He couldn't get the man of his dreams, or he couldn't get the girl of his dreams, or he was unhappy. He was a loser. So for him to become some great guy, he has to go out and destroy, kill kill 50 people, destroy hundreds of people's lives, and, and make the rest of us sad, millions of people sad. And my thing is, this guy is crazy. Just like that Dylan character went in and shot all those African American people, and they took off uh, 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 the Dukes of Hazard off TV because they had a rebel flag on there. I mean, that was ridiculous. So I'm not going to draw any conclusions about public policy from this or anything. I just think that the guy was nuts. He was nuts. That's the main point that I want to say, and I'm so, so sorry that these people who are out trying to have a good time and who worked their butts off all week and wanted to have a good time had their, their whole world slaughtered. And this is a sad tragedy, and I don't really want to say any more. Thank you.